Hey everyone, it's Snowmon here from Snow Labs. The goal of this video is to diagnose printer issues using out of bed level probes. So in this video I'll be using one of our Delta printers, a D300VS with FSR probes. I've broken down the steps that we'll be taking today. So the first step would be to identify which points will probe. This will be found in your bed.g and your system editor. The second step would be to creating a, a macro so we can run the probe and get some results. With those results, we can input them into this Excel sheet that I've created, uh, and then from there we can interpret the results and take the appropriate actions. So I've logged into DeWitt Web Control, and this is the web interface. So the first step would be to do a G28, a home wall, and then doing an auto calibration. For Delta, it's the G32, so let's let this run. I'm going to pause in between uh, diff the different stuff. All right, so we've gotten our results over here. I'm pretty happy with the before and after. The next step would be to identify which points will probe. So for that, we have to go to our bed.g file. That's located in settings, system editor, right click the bed.g, and now we have our points. For my config, it's right here. I'm going to copy those, go to Macros. Uh, as you can see, I already have one here. We'll delete it out. Make new macro. Let's call this Diagnosis Sheet. Hit OK. At the start of the macro, first one ensure that we do a home all. So G28. Let's put our probes in. And at the end, let's have the effector go to a height of 250. Go to Z equals 250. All right, so the macro looks good. However, we want to make sure this S the parameter in the G30 call is S-1. Um, with the dash one, it won't do any bed compensation, it'll just give us a readout. So that is pretty important. And let's change this here. Click on save changes. Let's run that macro. I'll unpause once we're, we have the results. All right. So we've gotten our, the console has given us our output. So the next step would be to getting the uh, Excel sheet. So what you have to do is go to the website. Uh, the link will be down in the description. It's in our blog. We call it Delta Diagnostics. And there's just a written instructions that go along with the video. Uh, so let's download the Excel sheet. All right, so if you notice here, this is a 10 point calibration, but in our console log, we ended up doing a uh, 13 points for our calibration. So we're gonna have to do some edits on this Excel sheet. I will post the new version of the diagnosis sheet onto the, uh, the blog, um, and it'll just be two different sheets. So there's a 10 point and a 30. Alrighty. So I'm going to copy over the console log into a text editor. I'm just using Notepad on different screen, just so you can see it. And what we'll do is, alrighty. So I've inputted the data from our console into uh, the values on the A column, and what this top left section is, is just for data values. I have labeled it as blue, which will show up blue on the chart, and then orange for a second data set, so we can do a before and after. Let's zero out the orange so we can hide it all. Alrighty, so now that we have all of our points inputted, we'd see the conditional formatting just highlighting 
the major values, anything that's above the mean. So we can use the highlights or we can use the chart. So if we look at the chart, we're looking at 0.12 being the largest outlier. So the next ones would be 1 and 8. So if we look at our map over here, we're looking at 1, 8, and 12. So you're probably thinking, what does this all mean? So what you want to do is actually use the outliers in this data set to identify which towers need addressing based on these points. So if we're looking at point 1, 12, and 8, 1, 12, and 8, so this is the x direction. So my best guess if I want to get a lower deviation would be to take a look at the x tower. Maybe there's a belt that's loose, or maybe there's uh, a loose pulley, or the carriage is a little worn out. So the whole goal of this Excel sheet is to figure out where should I put most of my focus into fixing our printer, or better optimizing our printer. Um, to give some more context, what I'll do is create another data set. All right, so I actually copied over a data set from our 10 point, just copied it over, and then added uh, points 11 through 13. So if we're looking at the orange, which is the second data set, we're looking at point 1, point 5, 8, 9, and 12. So 1, 5, 8, 9, and 12. So based on the points that are elevated, we're looking at the Z tower being, there's some something wrong with the Z tower, or we should be looking into the Z tower more than the X and Y. That's just because more points are popping up in that direction. So let's say that you started with uh, data set one, you made some changes, you came back, then you ran the macro again, you have data set two now. So now you can see what you did in data set one versus data set two, and then focus on the new problems or the newest issues. Since the points five and eight on data set two are major outliers as compared to the rest, I would be focusing on five and eight so that would be uh, over here and here. So since that's in the Z direction, we'll address those over uh, X and Y towers. So let's say you have a core XY or a, uh, a square bed. So it would, the same concept applies. What you would do is figure out which points you want to probe then input those into a, a sheet like this. And then I would I would recommend is actually graphing it out. The tool that I used, I'll link the graphing application into the, uh, the blog post. Um, it was pretty simple, just put in your points and then you get your, your graph. Um, with that, you can identify the outliers, and then now you have a way to identify which side or what you should be focusing on in optimizing your printer. I hope this all makes sense. If you do have questions or you have suggestions, as this is my first video, it's very much a work in progress. Please comment below or send us a DM. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please subscribe and tune in for more content.